Jeff, thanks for coming to join us on the Cancer Stories program today. Pleasure. I'm particularly interested to um, have experts like yourself visit us and talk about things that could be improved in centers worldwide. Some centers have big developments on group therapy, mm. some on you know, psychologists, but what we're talking about today is volunteering, but particularly peer support. Mm. Peer support being that model of one patient or one family member helping another. Mm. You've got some experience in this area. Just briefly, um, what has been your impression of the importance of peer support? Oh, peer support, without a doubt, is a powerful and unique contributor to the quality of life of people diagnosed with cancer. And it's, and it's built on you know, a very simple foundation principle of shared personal experience. And, mm. and it's driven by the energy of one person who has, in, in say, the case of cancer, been uh, diagnosed, treated, um, managed, and then survived that cancer experience, wanting to help someone else about to go through it. And it is a, a, a wonderful uh, and important source of support uh, for many cancer patients and their families and friends. How could we measure that, the significance of the benefit? How could we convince medics or organizations that, yeah, this is, this is something you really need to consider. It's not just a minor thing that is, is an add-on that we can almost forget about. It's actually quite powerful. How could we, how could we kind of quantify that? Well, well, first of all, we've got to make a noise about it because we, we have evidence. Yeah. And, and we know, if you look at the literature, you know, peer support, the studies show us it that reduces feelings of isolation. It improves coping strategies. It, it normalizes the experience. Uh, peer support has been associated with improvements in compliance with treatment and, and improvements in, uh, in a whole lot of physical symptoms. I mean, it is a, it's a wonderfully important source of support across the board. And it's it's volunteer based, it's community driven, it's unique. No matter how much experience a professional has, mm. no matter how good they are at their job, uh, they can't do what a peer support volunteer does if they haven't had that experience. Mm. And we need, I think, just to make a noise about it, to, to keep it up in front of hospital administrators, uh, healthcare professionals, and cancer patients and advocates. Mm. Because for many patients, it's a preferred source of support. It's a thing they'd like most of all if it was around yeah. and if they knew about it. So that's really interesting. We've got patients who are, have got unmet needs who would say, I prefer a peer support model. But what I also notice is you've got patients who are in remission or doing well who want to give back. Now, here's the thing. They often don't know how to volunteer or where to volunteer. Mm. What was your advice to those patients? I know it's difficult because we're yeah. geographically different centres, but what, what would you say to somebody who wants to give back but not sure what's the next step? Okay, I mean, it's a, it's a question which will vary, you know, by your local community and where you are. I mean, certainly in our experience in Australia where I am and in Queensland, you know, we welcome volunteers wanting to come. Uh, we encourage them to come to us and train with us and we'll help them and support them and uh, enrol them in our peer support program and and, and we'll manage that. I think it, it's a matter for, for people who have been diagnosed and treated for the disease who, who, who want to actually do something with that is to be active in their local community. Look around, see who's there, uh, look for community-based organisations, talk to their physicians, uh, seek out people at their own health service and, and find what's there because, you know, in the end, communities are their own sort of unit of solution. So if there are gaps there, there, there will be people clumping together trying to provide this form of support. Mm. Uh, and if you can find like-minded people, uh, then it's a matter of, as I said before, let's make some noise about it. Uh, because if you can clump together, if you can find an organisation to support this, if you can provide a well-structured, managed peer support program, uh, there is no doubt mm. that the quality of life for people in your community diagnosed with cancer uh, will improve. Mm. You must have seen many positives come out of mm. individual interactions between patients who are giving mm. and those that are receiving. What was your take home message for what benefits you see accrue in the, in the real world when patients get together in, the, in whatever format it is? Well, it's, it's like you say, I mean, there are some wonderful examples of this and it's, uh, it, it's a two way street and, and people talk about, you know, benefit finding and that transformational change that sometimes occurs. And that's the case, not for everyone, but certainly that is the case. So the peer support volunteers themselves uh, feel a great sense of, uh, you know, uh, delivery and, and service 
And it's a, it's a wonderful thing to see people do that and f uh, feelings of contribution. And, and those that they're working with, the people who are going through that experience, uh, they are better able to, to manage that challenge that a, a diagnosis of cancer has and, and then to, to move through that. And, and then uh, you might find over time that those volunteers themselves you know, find themselves in a circumstance where they're actually giving back, making a contribution, and the people that are receiving that support, the people who have been recently diagnosed uh, themselves uh, are better able to get on uh, with life after a diagnosis of cancer. In a combined way, it's the sort of chemistry which, which drives our communities. We're, we're really just providing uh, uh, or facilitating opportunity uh, for that to occur. Jeff, thanks so much for putting peer support on the map, both locally and nationally, and also in this video. And I, I hope the audience will really take up the cause of adopting peer support as a valuable model. Thanks a lot. My pleasure. Thank you, Alex.